If this is what they eat in jail, sign me up. Eating prison food that tastes this good should be illegal. Mm. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make ramen lasagna. So just sit right back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. You should know the deal by now. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Hold up, it was actually a ramen noodle food fusion style cook that people called prison food online. So for science, Let's give it a try. You're gonna need some ramen noodles, more commonly known as two minute noodles. Eight is the lucky number of packets for this tempting jailbird feast. Just place them all into a baking tray and squish them down. And then just sprinkle over four of the flavor packets. If you cannot fit your ramen in neatly, just break it up. Next up, you'll need a bowl of considerable size. Add one liter of pasta sauce, one and a half cups of cream, and one cup of ricotta cheese. Now just mix this up thoroughly to make sure all the ingredients are nicely combined. And just pour this over the ramen noodles, making sure they all get covered. This sauce will soak into those ramen noodles, making them all moist. Oh yeah, I heard it. Smut. You can use any pasta sauce you like for this cook. This is a no judgment zone. Now to add the cheese. Two cups of mozzarella cheese and you wanna make sure it all gets a nice even coverage. Now it's time for some pepperoni. Just placing enough on top to cover all of it. What? More cheese? Okay. Let's add a cup of Parmesan cheese to the top and then just finish this off with a good sprinkling of Italian herbs. You could just use your favorite barbecue rub if you don't have Italian herbs. Today, I'm gonna fire up the Z Grills pellet smoker. I did think about using sheer willpower to cook this, but I figured that'd be showing off. It's easy as adding some pellets, opening the lid, turning it on, switching it to the smoke function, wait for it to start smoking, and then once the smoke settles, we want to set our target temp of 190 degrees Celsius. And then just close the lid and we're going to wait until it gets to temp. If you don't have a pellet smoker, just get any hooded barbecue to 190 degrees Celsius and you'll be good to go. Once the smoker is at temp, place the ramen lasagna in and close the lid. Now just set a timer for 50 minutes and go and amuse yourself. I know what you're asking yourself. Why didn't he just use lasagna sheets? Because this is a food fusion cook. Today, I'm using a high indirect heat to cook with. And all up, this ramen lasagna is gonna take 50 minutes to be fully cooked. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. Then another beer and then several more beers. I think we all know everyone wants more beer. The ramen lasagna is done, so we can just get it out of the smoker. And we're just gonna let this rest for about 20 to 30 minutes and allow it to cool down. As that cheese is hot like lava, and it's gonna stick to you like tasty napalm. And by letting it cool down for 20 or 30 minutes, when you slice into it, it should hold its shape a lot better. We can now just slice it up using a large spatula. Portion size is totally up to you. Food fusion at its best or worst, we're soon to find out. Spoiler alert for those of you that hung around. Some of the ramen noodle did stay crunchy. So if you like crunchy lasagna, this is the recipe for you. If you didn't like this recipe, by all means, tell me in the comments. I read them all and you know what? Those hateful ones really get to me. 